In Scum Survival, don't be like Günther. Ich krieg die Kiste nicht auf. Das ist doch ein Erste-Hilfe-Kasten. Wieso kann ich den nicht öffnen? Wie geht das auf? Wie geht das auf? Ich hab keine Ahnung, wie das aufgeht. Wie geht das jetzt auf? Wie geht das auf? Jetzt Mensch, wie geht das auf? Instead, get yourself some tools and either lockpick your way in or just open doors and such forcefully. The easiest way to open chests or lockers is by using a crowbar. This might take a while depending on your strength and stealth skill, but should do the trick. Be aware of the crowbar breaking due to usage and the items you will get being slightly damaged as well to a certain point. Also don't let the durability of the crowbar fall underneath 20%, as it is not repairable above 50% anymore that way. Ach, sh when you find yourself a closed locker or any other locked entity, also from other players, you can test your skills and lockpick those. For that you need a screwdriver and a lockpick. Lockpicks are either craftable from hair clips or can be found in a stack of 4 as normal lockpicks or in a stack of 5 as advanced ones. When it comes to screwdrivers you can find two different versions. One with a stack of 3 which can also be dropped from zombies and another one with a stack of up to 40 uses. There are four different types of locks which also scan in difficulty. Starting with a rusty lock being the weakest followed by iron, silver and a golden lock. In order to successfully pick a lock you need to find the sweet spot. Think of it like this. The sweet spot, shown here as the green area, becomes smaller the better the lock. The orange area highlighted here is the area where the lock is moving. The lock itself turns small the closer you are to the sweet spot inside the orange area. Inside the red area around the sweet spot the lockpick won't move at all and gets damaged the more you try to move it. Same goes for the orange area since as soon as you can't move it any further it gets damaged until it breaks. In order to prevent your pick from breaking too soon, try to use a method called feathering. With this method you search for the area the pick is moving and instead of holding down the F key you are tapping it instead while slowly moving the pick with your mouse in the direction you think the sweet spot will be. For this you should set the lockpick sensitivity to your liking in the settings. But why do you use this method? Well, if you are not using tapping and insist on holding down the F key to turn the lock, the reaction time of yours when you hear the noise of resistance inside the lock is way bigger compared to the tapping method. This causes your lockpick to lose more health points, while with the tapping method the window of resistance and therefore damage is smaller since you don't have this reaction time. Also you can adjust your lockpick angle in between the taps. Surely tapping is not as easy as it sounds and might need some practice, but if you train this a lot you will get better at it. Be aware that failing a lockpick attempt will decrease your fame points and if they run out you can't lockpick anymore. Wearing gloves also increases the difficulty, so make sure to take them off. The time limit can be increased through leveling your thievery skill. The higher the level, the more time you will get. One second can make a difference. When picking a player or locks inside a kill box, some locks might be protected by security utilities, which will damage you after each failure. To prevent taking damage you can use rubber gloves, but again, difficulty will increase slightly that way. Beside the locks I just mentioned there are three other ones worth talking about. The first one would be the manual dial lock containing out of three digits which have to be set in the right order. Nothing much to say about this, it's basically just trial and error, but again you lose a specific amount of fame points with each failure. However, you will also find digital dialogues in the abandoned bunkers which are not as hard to solve, but do have a timer which when it runs out pops the alarm. And we all know what happens after. In order to open these locks you will see an unpad where always three numbers are worn out. There are only six possible combinations and if you are fast enough you can at least try up to three of them within the time limit. If you get the correct one, congrats to you. If not, go hide somewhere and try again when the area is safe. Remember what combinations you already tried so you don't double any. And then there is the BCU lock which is kinda an offline raid protection I'd say. This lock is only unlockable if matched with the correct player BCU chip. Think of it like some sort of fingerprint system. Those locks are unpickable but there are still two ways to get past them. One way would be to kill the owner of the lock or any other player in his spot and use their BCU chips to unlock it. Another possible way is to just wait until the lock eventually runs out of energy since it needs batteries to be functional and therefore recharged after a specific time. Oh, and if you don't want to lockpick, you can always make use of greater force if you have enough of it in your personal arsenal. Wie funktioniert denn this Teil? Was ist, wenn ich hier drauf drücke? <laughs>